Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I want to cook with you today a uh, recipe that I haven't cooked in a while, but it's a really good recipe. If you've ever been to um, Olive Garden and had the pasta fagioli, it's a really good soup and it's really, really easy to cook. So um, I'm gonna let you cook with me today. Hopefully it'll be a little bit better um, than the cookie recipe was. But um, anyway, I'm gonna take you along and let you see what's happening. Um, here are the ingredients, just to kind of a snapshot of some of the ingredients. Um, this this recipe is actually meant for a crock pot, and I see you, Sean. <laughs> let me turn this away a little bit. This recipe is actually meant for a crock pot. You actually just brown your meat and put everything in a crock pot for on high seven to eight hours or low three to four hours, or four to five hours. But I'm gonna actually, uh, it's too late in the day for me to do that, so I'm just gonna put it in a stock pot on the stove. I have got meat going on the stove, I'll show you that. But you just cut up um, celery, and I'll put the um, recipe in the description below. But you cut up celery, carrots, and onion, and then it has like uh, kidney beans, white and red kidney beans, diced tomatoes, beef broth, uh, parsley, oregano, pepper, spaghetti sauce, um, that kind of thing. And then um, let me show you, I've got some brown meat, browning some meat over here in my stock pot. And so once that meat is browned, and I use a really lean meat, but if you don't use a lean meat, you'll have to drain it. Um, I use a lean meat, so I don't have to drain it. <laughs> but anyway, you just cut up all this stuff and you just add everything to the pot. So it's a super easy meal. And then like 30, if you're doing a crock pot, like 30 minutes before you add the, the little pasta, um, but I'm gonna cook it on the side so we can add how much ever we want to our dish. So um, let's get started. <laughs> 